Okay, we just did, I'm not on call actually, it is 12.35 in the morning. Just did a repeat cesarean delivery on a patient with two prior cesarean deliveries who came in complaining of incisional pain um, at 37 weeks and change. Um, because of her having incisional pain and some intermittent contractions, we decided to move towards delivery. So we took her back to do her cesarean and she had a very large uterine dehiscence. What does that mean? That means the site of the old scar was coming open. Um, so the layer of the uterus, there's three layers, the parametrium, myometrium, endometrium, and covering all of that is a thin layer or thin layer of tissue, tissue called the uterine serosa. A uterine dehiscence is not a uterine rupture. A uterine rupture means that all of those layers and a serosa would be open and it's a medical emergency. Instead, a uterine dehiscence is not a medical emergency. Most of those cases are asymptomatic, but in this case, she was having incisional pain. Had she not come in, she probably would have ruptured her uterus, but she came in, we got her delivered, so it was just a dehiscence. So we were able to see the entire lower uterine segment was hold, held together by one or two layers of tissue. Um, and we could see inside the uterus. Because it was such a large area of dehiscence, um, my recommendation to her is to not go beyond 37 weeks in her next pregnancy um, and to wait at least a year to a year and a half to get pregnant again to allow that uterus time to heal. Um, if you have been told that you have a uterine dehiscence, you need to ask those two questions. When should I be delivered in the next pregnancy and how long should I wait to get pregnant again? The only person that can give you that information or that advice or those recommendations is the person that operates on you that actually saw what the uterine dehiscence looked like. Um, some patients, the uterine dehiscence is not that involved and they didn't come in with symptoms and they're 39 weeks or so. So the next delivery would probably be around 39 weeks again. But because this patient came in at 37 weeks and change, with symptoms, meaning incisional pain and some contractions and the uterine dehiscence, my recommendation was for a repeat cesarean delivery in the next pregnancy at 37 weeks um, and to wait at least a year to a year and a half to get pregnant again to allow her uterus time to heal. Please be sure to ask questions if you're ever told that you have a uterine dehiscence and especially if you've had a uterine rupture.